Well, praise the Lord for husbands. Mine has just come home, then, and um, watched my videos from today and unlocked to me the secret of the dream that I had on the 23rd of um, in 2016 when on the last video which was um, the day that Vex, the first uh, vote on, on Brexit was um, announced and the dream was I dreamt a murderer was just about to start his campaign of blood and that Dennis had bought a small red boat and was deciding whether it was too small. Now, I just put that on my last video, and of course I didn't understand what it meant, and I made you know a little bit of a <laughs> an attempt myself to interpret it, but the Holy Spirit knows exactly. And my husband came in, and he didn't uh, uh, you know, know the dream, but of course he just brought it to my mind, the f fact that in New Zealand that we are the opposite to the United States uh, because of where we are. And that's why when it's your summer solstice, it's our winter solstice. And that's why, you know, I, I, I don't need to tell you that I was killed on the summer solstice, I mean on the winter sol solstice. So, but also the colour red in America symbolises Trump. Whereas in New Zealand, the red is the Labour Party and communism. So it's the total opposite. So I'll just read the dream and you'll understand what it means. I dreamt, this is, and this was the day that Brexit, you know, in America probably Brexit isn't that important to you, but around the rest of the world it is and our Prime Minister in New Zealand has just been over there where everyone's panicking about um, the Brexit pullout, what it's going to mean to our, mean to our trade deals. But of course in, in America, um, Trump has just said to Brexit, you know, he, said, he knows, he's the only one telling the truth. He knows what these globalists have been doing. He knows what the New World Order has been doing, what the United Nations and the EU has been doing. It's been bringing you under slavery. And Obama, I'm mean, not Obama, <laughs> Trump has the only one that ha has had the courage, not only to um, say that... Um, Global global um, warming is a crock, but he's also said that um, United Nations is a crock as well, and he's you know he's had the courage to say we're not uh, we're not paying we're not paying for you anymore. So, and that is what my dream of the twenty third of um, what's it, the seventh is it? I don't know what that is. I shouldn't put the numbers. So um, the first one was the 19th of the 7th, 2016, when I dreamt of the Shema, Shema word. And the next night I saw the anagram ARRC, which stood for Allied Rapid Response Corps. And then on the 23rd, I've written, today, the vote on Brexit. I dreamt a murderer was about to start his rampage of blood and that Dennis had bought a small red boat and was deciding whether it was too small. And of course, Dennis represents the Lord. He's my husband, and so he's the Lord. And of course, the red boat is, um, is Trump, <laughs> just like in that other dream that I had where I said the war was over, the red bull is coming to get us. The red bull is Trump, and here the red boat is Trump. So praise the Lord. Thank, the, thank you, Jesus, for husbands, and, uh, and that you speak to us through dreams. And, uh, and eventually, <laughs> eventually, through the Holy Spirit, you tell us what those dreams mean. And I think hopefully that will be a witness to people who don't believe in Jesus, who don't believe that God... Um, has the time to talk to human beings because if you can't see here that I had no idea what that meant and because of my situation in the world, you know, um, 
I wouldn't have, and and what you know that is why God would use someone like me, who has no has no dog in the race, as they say. You know, I'm in New Zealand. I could care less about America, but I do love you, and I pray that uh, you will get on board with God's um, God's agenda, and um, stop thinking of your own. In Jesus' name.